Lately, we've been getting a lot of questions asking us how AnswerDash compares to Zendesk's Embeddables tool. So first and foremost, AnswerDash is a predictive self-service tool. This is our focus. This is what we do. Zendesk is a great ticketing tool and knowledge-based management tool, and they're trying to expand their product offerings to do a little bit more self-service, but it's not their core purpose or their core focus. And as I'm going to show you, the experience for your customers on websites using the tools is far different. So let's first start with the AnswerDash experience. When a visitor comes to a, to a site with AnswerDash installed and clicks on the uh, Q&A tab, they're going to see popular questions. So the first main difference is that AnswerDash is predictive in nature. We use the context of where the user is and what they're trying to do in order to predict what questions they're going to have. So as you can see, AnswerDash is going to be uh, point and click first, type to search second, whereas Embeddables is going to be type to search first. But let's say the visitor doesn't find what they're looking for in the popular questions. They have the ability to search through your entire knowledge base here. So let's say I'm a Moo customer I just ordered and I want to know when my order will arrive. You'll see here off a of basic search, I get five to 10 relevant answers all about when my order will or when it should arrive. Now let's look at another uh, answer dash customer. Let's say I have some domains here through Enum and I want to know if I can transfer them. Again, several answers here, all relevant to transferring my domain. Let's compare that to an experience a customer, customer might have on a website using Embeddables. So let's say I'm looking at this video doorbell company and I want to know how much one of these things costs. How much does it cost? You'll see the, the first three answers I get are understanding cloud video recording, Chime FAQs, and solar panel FAQs. So nothing relevant at all to, to the cost of one of these um, or what I'm actually looking for. So in this case, I would still have to go through an assisted service channel just to get my basic question answered. Let's say I want to know, I'll ask it a different way. Uh, let's say, what is the price? And I search for this. Now I have three different answers. Again, none of them relevant to the price or the cost of the product. Let's look at one more site. I see here they have a, a way to sign up for the product for free. So let's say, can I sign up for free? Top three results, can I log in with non-Google or Facebook, setting up HipChat integration, setting up Slack integration. So as you can see, the experiences using AnswerDash and Embeddables are far different experiences. AnswerDash first is predictive in nature to use the context of where they are and what they're trying to do to predict the questions they're going to have. And then the search results, as you can see, AnswerDash returns uh, loads of questions that are relevant to the answer, whereas uh, Zendesk Embeddables serves up answers that aren't, rele <clears throat> aren't relevant to what the customer is searching for and still causes them to go through an assisted service channel. 